Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is Season 6 Feed the Beast, and this is Part 89. And I just want to say right off the bat, I am sorry about my voice. Um, oh, one second. Okay, I'm sorry about my voice. Uh, I'm going to be muting my mic a lot to uh, cough and stuff because I'm pretty sick right now. But I wanted to make some Minecraft videos, and Autumn is not in the room on TeamSpeak. Uh, so I have a nice quiet room, so I figured I'd make some videos. Um, the first order of business today is to get the farm situated. I have an intricate circuit board for managed peat farms, and then I have an intricate circuit board for a manual uh, rubber tree farm. Now, the rubber plantation is going to go in the small um, farm, and the peat bog is going to be the big farm. I already set up um, an extremely small... You know what? I need to fill it with water. I probably should have did this beforehand, but... You know, I'll just grab the other one. I don't care. Um, I, I'm going to fill the farm up with water, and for that I needed another Ignis extruder. But um, I'm just going to grab the one from the peat farm, because the peat farm doesn't have to be up right away. I kind of want to get that rubber tree farm going. So I'm going to take everything I need from the for, for the rubber tree farm from the peat farm and then replace it in the peat farm. As you can see, the peat farm's been running, and it's not replacing the dirt, so that's why I'm having issues here. Uh, so that's weird. That, oh, I cut the power. So that's why it's not actually harvesting any of the peat. But um, it's okay. I'm going to have two separate farms, so no big deal. I went through and mapped out um, where I'm going to put the uh, the rubber plantation farm. And it's going to be right here. So um, I already made it. So there you go. And I can put the, uh, the rubber circuit board in there. And there we go. Uh, I also, I need a way to get down underneath easily, but for now I just dug a hole right here. And I was in the middle of moving the wires around down here when I ran out of wires. So that's why I'm going to go like this. And that should be getting power now. So that pea is getting harvested. I just heard one get harvested. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So that's working out well. Uh... I'm not going to worry about the peat farm for now. Like I said, I want to get the rubber tree farm up first. That's my priority. Um, the only reason I'm making a peat farm is because, like I told you, they're going to disable these kinds of peat farms. Why is that dirt there? There it goes. They're going to be uh, they're going to be disabling these kind of farms eventually. So I want to get one ready for the you know for when that happens because I can't have the peat stop because I have a boil over there that needs the peat. So, uh, right here we're going to put a, I think that's where the gearbox goes, gearbox for the power, it should reform any second, eh, it doesn't matter, um, right here I will put the hatch, and the water one will go right in the middle, and then we just got to set up the water source here, and I'm going to dig this hallway out a little bit more so I can go around this setup, but uh, I won't do that right now. It's not really a concern. F7, alright, there we go. Alright. Now we just need some water over there, so what we will do is we will... Hmm, I don't want to handle this. Uh, hmm. Do I have any buckets with me? You know what, I don't think I do. But I do have a portable tank, but if I don't have any... Oh, I do have the buckets, okay. So what we'll do is we will go like this. And then like this. And then like so. Man, I am so sick, guys. Like, I was really bad yesterday. Uh, today I feel a little bit better. It's just my throat that's hurting me. I probably shouldn't be making videos because, you know, but whatever. Um, this up. All right, let's... Uh, <coughs> there we go. Let's put that dirt back. There we go. I've been making a lot of uh, multiplayer videos and, uh, you know, figured I'd get back to my single player. Um, sure enough, the day I put up my first multi my first multiplayer video, some guy was like, are you going to continue with your single player world? Because I love that world. He was like, all, he's all upset. I was like, no, don't worry, bro. I'm not going to stop my single player world. My single player world is still my priority. 
All right, so there we got some water. I probably should have brought some fertilizer, huh? That might have been a good idea. Stupid. I am going to put a chest down here. I guess for now I'll just put it right there. And that's where I'm going to keep the fertilizer. So let's go back and get some fertilizer. How do I get out of here? Where's my... Oh, here it is. So yeah, I've been making a lot of multiplayer videos, but don't worry guys, single player is still my number one priority. Um, the fact of the matter is, there's never anyone on the multiplayer server, so um, I do want to play on it, but it's gotten to the point now where I'm not going to play on it unless I'm making videos, for the most part, uh, because I've gotten a lot done, and uh, I'm not showing enough. So I'm trying to get together with Narlo, maybe some of his brothers or whoever, and try and get on there, um, but yeah, it's it's kind of rough. Poor guy's got a life, you know? He's got, like, family and stuff, and he, like, feels bad. He's like, oh, when can we be on? Well, I'll try and be on. I was like, I don't, dude, don't worry about it, man. I was like, real life comes first. You get on when you can get on, you know? It's not really, like, a uh, a huge deal. Uh, yeah, I want to play, but, um, you know, real life is real life, man. You can't, you know, this is a game, so. All right, I got some fertilizer here. That'll be enough for now. It doesn't go through fertilizer, like, extremely quickly, so that's good. Uh, do I have ender chests? Yes, I do. Good. It's going smoothly. I like it. All right, I'm going to have to mute my mic and cough for a minute, so I'll be right back. Oh, man. Nothing is worse than coughing when you're sick, man. It just burns, but got to do it. All right. Basically, what I'm trying to do is, I know I explained this before, but I'm trying to get this rubber coming in because I want to make some. Uh, I want to make a lot of things, but the one thing I'm going to be making is the uh, the armor. The um, uh, what the fuck's it called? The um, quantum suit armor. So yeah, need a little some rubber for that. I'm gonna need rubber for a lot of stuff. I should be, you know. Getting this anyway. Alright, that's getting power. Well. Is it getting power? This should be getting power. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Alright, now we just gotta plant some crops up there. Um, this is a. Uh, this goes out four. So you see, I already marked off where it's gonna be. And then for this way, two, three, four. Looks like we got a little bit of a cave system down there. Not a big deal. We'll just cover that up with cobblestone. I think actually no, we don't need to cover that up with cobblestone. We should do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, let's do the same thing over here. So, yeah, Diablo 3, guys. And I've been spending a lot of time on the last few videos talking about Diablo 3 because I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3. Uh, we actually met someone new on the stream who's like a pretty hardcore D3 player, and he's uh, he's been helping us out, like talking about our builds and, you know, donating what he can to certain people. And so... Uh, it's been a lot of fun, man. Like, everybody's gotten the 60. Like, Geo and Lazy got the 60 and, like, in, like, a ridiculously short amount of time. What am I doing here? They got the 60. I think Geo got the 60 in, like, a, like two or three days. We were power leveling them because there's ways you could power level people. And thank God for that because, you know, um, I don't want them spending a lot of time at those low levels. I want them up so they can group with us at 60 and, you know, farm some fat loot, man. Get some Paragon levels. Ugh, game's awesome. Uh, I always liked it, but, uh, you know, I got a little bored. I, I think I put about 130 hours into it, and then I started getting bored, and I stopped playing. And, uh, you know, I'm back into it, because they put a lot of things in there. They put these power, Paragon levels in there. Um, one thing about Diablo, uh, Magic Find is, like, a big deal. 
uh, it's like, you know, it helps you get like the much better loot and it's really a cool thing. And they put these levels in there. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to 60, as you could tell what I just said. And what they did was now at 60, you get these things called Paragon levels, which basically gives you a couple little stat boosts to your, you know, your main stat and a couple of the little stats. Um, but the cool thing about it is it gives you plus 3% magic fine and 3% gold fine. And uh, that's really nice. It's really nice. It's a good idea. It makes the game a lot more fun. All right, so let's see what we got to do here. Right there, 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 and there. See, nice little farm here. Actually, this this area might actually be a little bit even too big for, you know. Uh, no, not there. There. No. See, I put it in the wrong place again. There, there, there. <clears throat> yeah, this might actually be a little bit more rubber than I'm ever going to need anyway, but um, it's okay. I'll just do a whole farm because, like I said, it's kind of annoying. You can't mix and match manual farms and managed farms. So, yeah. Oh, ah. All right, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, looks about right. Mm, what did I do wrong here? One, two, oh. There. Eh, might as well fill them all in. Why not, right? Uh, I need more. There we go. Farm's almost ready to go. Then I just gotta put down uh, the dirt. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Just gonna fill in stuff that needs to be filled in. Okay, now let's see. Looks right to me. Make sure. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yeah, that's, it's right. No, it's no, it's not. Something wrong with it. I knew it looked kind of weird. Uh, there, there, there. There, one, two, three. What did I do wrong? Oh. There. That's better. So three, three, three. Nope, this side's wrong. Not wrong, just not filled in. That should be good. Uh, okay. One, two, all right. One, two, three. There, there, there. Alright, that looks right to me, I hope. Um, <clears throat> so now we just need dirt. I know I have some dirt. Alright. Looks like it's pretty good. Let me check my timer. There, you got about five minutes. Good. Finish this bad boy up. Call it a video. Looks good, right? I think that's... I think that's the way it's supposed to be. All right, so let's grab uh, let's grab our rubber trees and uh, plant those up. We're not gonna have enough for all of it, but it's okay. All right, 
right, it's gonna be pretty cool. I like this. Uh, there and there. Yeah, I'll put it there and there. All right. Um, I think that's it. All we gotta do is set up the. Uh, we need the way to get down there. I will set up a more elegant way to get down here eventually. Um, <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll set up the ender chest down here. But I'm not going to hook it up yet because I want I want this thing to start getting sticky resin in it just to make sure I set it up properly and it's working. All right, now with this one, we can take this out uh, with the soldering iron. And then we put managed. Now, it doesn't have water. Uh, it has some water. Now, <clears throat> with managed, it should, be, it should start putting everything down by itself. So let's see if it does that. Uh, the problem is it's running out of water. Uh... You know what? Let's see what it does. I'm not sure if it's getting enough power. Let's jack up the power and see if that helps. I'm not sure about how the power works with these things. Um, and I can't really find any good information about it. So let's give it some more power. Let's give it 30. Yeah, I don't know what this means, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure which box the bog earth goes in either. Put it in both. Oh, look at that. There it goes. That's what it's doing. See, it's placing it down manually. That's good. That's good. We just need to give it more bog earth. We're going to have to set up the bog earth. It looks like the bog earth needs to go in this side. The dirt's coming out. Um, it's taking the dirt out, uh, so that's good. All right, so, all right, so that's it. Uh, what we'll do for next video... Um, actually, we still got a couple minutes here. Let's putz around. Um, I don't want to start anything new because, you know, kind of don't have much to do a lot of, but I kind of want to fill up the last couple minutes here. Let's uh, dump some of this crap in there. Mm, there. Alright. Put this away. I'm kind of wondering where it's going to put the, the, the water. Yeah. So next video what we're going to do is we're going to set up the water thing underneath here. We're also going to have to set up some kind of way to make the bog earth. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to... how I'm going to do that, to be honest. I might uh, set up a... maybe I'll set up a, a different one. Um, I could just take the some of the bog earth from this one, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to set up a separate thing. Uh, I just, I'm going to need more crafting turtles. Let me see what I'm going to need here. I'm going to need more crafty turtles. I'm going to need void pipes. I'm going to need a pulverizer. I'm going to need a uh, igneous extruder. When I said igneous extruder earlier, I was supposed to say aqueous accumulator, whatever. Uh, I need to set up the turtle. So I'm going to set this up for the bog earth, basically over here, underneath. And it has no more bog earth. Let's give it some more bog earth. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this setup over there. Actually, I could do it without the turtle, now that I think about it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright, so let's go ahead and trim these trees, or this tree, it's a good one, and uh, we haven't got any rubber from it, actually it doesn't look like there's any rubber thingies on it, 
Yeah, we should cut that down. Oh, there's my timer. All right, guys. So we got a lot done here. We got the uh, we got the rubber tree farm set up again uh, separately. We um we decided uh, we've got the uh, uh, the peat farm going, except we have to set up the water. We have to set up the automatic peat. I think what I'm going to do for the peat farm instead of setting up a turtle uh, for the water, I'm going to do what I did inside, and I'm going to set up an uh, a Zycraft tank with a item IO and that's how I'll get my water it's a lot easier and I will set up an automatic P uh, uh, automatic bog thingy here now is that putting down the water or is, or is that just using the water I put down uh, I don't know that's a good question actually it's putting down the water I put down my water in, in separate area so Get away from that creeper so it doesn't blow my shit up. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for part 89. Yeah, 89. And I'll see you next time for part 90. Till then, take it easy.